Tonight, a judge has set bail at $50,000 unsecured for West Philadelphia State Representative Movita Johnson Harrell. She's accused of betraying her community's trust and their goodwill, stealing half a million dollars from a charity she founded. I stand before you today disappointed and disturbed. Pennsylvania Attorney General Josh Shapiro has gotten used to disappointment. Her theft knew no Bounds. State Representative Movita Johnson Harrell is now the 60th public official that Shapiro says his office has filed charges against. In 2006, Johnson Harrell founded a nonprofit that was supposed to help the mentally ill and poor who were fighting addiction. But Shapiro said she was using the nonprofit as a personal cash grab, stealing $500,000 from it. But, um, yeah, she got arrested, and hey, that's what happens. Let, let us know we can't trust nobody. We can't trust no one, you know what I'm saying? Disappointment has also become familiar to those living in the 190th district. Johnson Harrell was elected in March in a special election for the seat left vacant by Vanessa Lowry Brown, who was convicted of bribery. It's supposed to go to the com inside back into the community, you know, to help the people, not to help themselves. So where did the half a million that Johnson Harrell is accused of stealing go? Well, Shapiro says it went to buy designer clothes, furs, a Porsche, pay back mortgage payments, and to fund lavish vacations. Shapiro added that she used it to fund her campaign and to contribute to Philadelphia District Attorney Larry Krasner's campaign. On Wednesday, Krasner's office said they donated her $2,500 contribution to a Philadelphia nonprofit. In response to the charges, Johnson Harrell made a statement through her lawyers, quote, I'm saddened and dismayed by the nature of the allegations brought against me today. I vigorously dispute many of these allegations, which generally pertain to before I took office, and I intend to accept responsibility for any actions that were inappropriate. Johnson Harrell is charged with corruption, perjury, and theft. She is expected to resign sometime next week. Her first court appearance is scheduled for two weeks from today.